Long haul truckers are among the essential workers dealing with the effects of coronavirus. WGAL News 8's Amber Gerard talked with some truck drivers about how they're dealing with life on the road in a pandemic. I've been sitting here for almost 28 hours. I got to go pick my next load up by 6 o'clock. I'm not 30 minutes away. Once Eric Frazier picks up his next load, he will head back home to La Follette, Tennessee. Arriving early, he knew he would have a long wait, so he came prepared. This is why I keep canned food in my truck for this purpose. My boss warned me about it. Eric is one of about 300,000 long haul truckers traveling on America's roads. And America's roads look very different these days. Gone are the sit down dinners at the truck stop and the hot showers. It does get kind of old that we can no longer go inside restaurants. I go from Winnipeg in Canada all the way to here in Coatesville. Ben Pinnell makes a three day 1600 mile trip every week. They meet us at the gate now and they take our paperwork. We back up to the door and they bring our paperwork to us when they're done. Aside from the unloading and loading process, Ben says COVID has also changed the way people interact on the road. You know, in a time like this, you would think people would be more willing to work together and it seems to be the opposite. He's referring to masks, which seem to be an issue for many truckers he speaks to. As annoying as that is, that's just the time that we're living in right now. I think, you know, truck drivers sometimes seem to forget that we're not alone out here. Time on the road, time in the truck, and time waiting until the pandemic passes. You stay in my truck longer hours, just wait until I get to go home. In Lancaster County, Amber Gerard, WGAL News 8.